Hello everybody. Just wanted to make a quick video of my design project for my PDC class. This is kind of where I started with just a Google Maps image of the property. And this is basically the property boundaries that you see here. One problem that I found was that it was really hard to get any kind of accurate map with accurate contour lines. I did find one map from the National Geological Survey and it had one contour line through here and it, was, it wasn't very good and it wasn't very helpful. I did find a tutorial on YouTube though that showed how to use Google SketchUp to get some better contour lines. So I went through that tutorial and I came up with this image. Once I had that I went back and I drew in some nicer contour lines to work with. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this map. And this isn't perfectly accurate because Google's maps didn't account for this house or any of the contour lines there. So I just kind of drew these in just as a guess. But this is basically a southeast facing slope here. And this is a relatively flat area so I didn't even bother drawing anything in there. Once I had the contour lines figured out, I went through and I drew the driveways, the house, and then all the existing infrastructure on here. This is an overhead power line here that I have to work around. This is the septic lateral lines with the septic system here. This is the well line coming into the house. This is a gas line with a propane tank, and these are two underground power and calm lines there. So once I did that, then I went through and I drew kind of our zones that I think will be fairly accurate. This is kind of the west side and this walks out level with kind of the front of the house and this is down on the second level so we're not going to be down in this flat area very often so I counted that as a zone 2 and these here zone 1. Once I had the zones figured out, I went ahead and did some future infrastructure. This is going to be a little wor workshop here. Um, this is a little garden shed and there will probably be a glass greenhouse attached to the south side out here on this. This is a rocket heated bench with a probably a fire pit in the middle just for hanging out in the evenings. This will be a pergola and they'll be either hardy kiwi or grapes or both. I haven't really decided on this area and this is a fenced area for the dog with a clothesline there. Once I had that figured out I went through and I drew all the existing trees in here. These are all cedar trees with the exception of this and these four trees here are fruit trees that we planted. With the contour lines, I drew in some water features that I would like to implement. Um, this is a will be a relatively small swale because there's not a lot of catchment on this hill, but this will be a swale here, a small swale here, and a small swale here with some tree systems here. This will be a pond here and over here with small swales attached to keep them filled up. There's another pond here with a little island. I'm hoping to maybe have some ducks and hopefully this will help eliminate some of the predator issues we could have with that with another good sized pond over here. And this is one really large swale and water does run through this area when we get really fast heavy rains and I may put in some kind of pond attached to this swale too. We'll just have to see how that all goes. Once I had the water features figured out, I drew this basic walking trail around the property. And this is a three acre property, by the way. And the goal with this little trail is just to make easier access to some of the features of the property and maintain along this trail the fruit trees and all that kind of thing and kind of extend the zone two out into the further zones. 
once I had all this figured out, I did some searching online and I came up with some kind of game form where somebody drew these little hand-drawn trees and I thought they would work pretty well for this project. So I went ahead and colored them and I just kind of put in where I would like the tree systems to be. And as you can see, this is going to be mostly trees throughout the system with the exception of the south area here. And this may actually incorporate a larger hoop house down here in this area, but this will keep the south sky open for any late season gardening that we want to do. Um, this will be a fairly thick tree line here. There's some neighbors over to the west and hopefully these swales will make sure all these trees grow healthy and then all these tree systems around these swales. So you can see it's pretty heavily populated with trees and this will be hopefully a lot of fruit and nut trees and I haven't really gone into detail on what trees I'm going to plant. I've started a list but it'll probably happen slowly so we'll probably start with this west side out here. So that's basically how I made the design and I can pull this off here so you can kind of see a little clearer view. And hopefully that's a professional quality map that you could show to somebody and actually implement on your own. Anyways, that's all I've got for now. This was done in Photoshop. I've also done a little bit of this in the GIMP, which is an open source image editing software basically, which would work just as well. I'm just a little more familiar with Photoshop. That's why I use that.